what I would call a tripod water bottle. Um, the inspiration for this is uh, my three granddaughters, they're ages four, two, and one, but to go along with the three sisters, corn beans and squash. And so when I started on this, it was going to be a traditional entry for Santa Fe, but I did not get to wood fire. And so, um, <laughs> I don't even think I entered it out there this year, mm. um, but um, we have the corn for my little green-eyed mm -hmm. uh, Cameron, <laughs> who's a four-year-old, and then we have the beans, and she's a little uh, one-year-old, and that kind of fits her personality as well, <laughs> and then we have the squash, which is the middle Aww. granddaughter that's two. And I kind of looked at their faces. They kind of all have this little button of, you know, so uh, it's, it is a piece that I'm sure I'll keep for the girls. That's very nice. Yeah. But it is a traditional uh, style. Right. Just like Anna said, with my own identity hot. put onto it. So. Right. This piece was um, inspired from a Moundville stone bowl. Mm -hmm. It does have this kind of a mythological serpent head mm -hmm. on it. So okay. that the head is pretty much like what I saw in the photograph yeah. and, and the boat shape and the deck. But what I did a little bit more mm. is do some kind of light carving, but with Beautiful. the Mississippian designs, the hand and the eye and the spirals um, kind of repeated right. on each side. So now in hindsight, if I did this again, I'd probably make it a little bit taller, but you know, mm, it's too mm -hmm. late now. <laughs> but the head's hollow, and right. it actually has some little um, beads in it, which is kind of typical of some of those um, southeastern, more ceremonial type pieces, mm -hmm. what I would call this. It's just beautiful. All right, and this piece? This piece, you know, because I've done so many of the animal effigies, I'm a lot, you know, I've done a lot of turtles and fish and um, see, those seem to be my best ones, frogs. <laughs> um, right. But actually, I, I was in a flea market or a junk store and I found an old doily, some a grandmother's doily, and I immediately said, that's my next turtle because it's the, the top part is just flat, you know, it just rolled out flat with the doily rolled on top of it. To me, it like made the perfect turtle, yeah. turtle top, and then the rest <laughs> of it just coiled. And I did elaborate with, which I don't normally do, with a little bit of um, mm, copper, copper foil. Mm -hmm. So, but it's just mm. a turtle effigy model. Right, so, I love the little face. And I actually got to wood fire this one too. These I made these for the Cherokee art market. Uh huh. And then I think I can just do the little head from here again for your doll. And probably talked about these dolls enough, but those are wonderful. Well, thank you very much for your time tonight.